up everyone, I'm Yasmin Woodland and welcome back to my channel. First and foremost, you might notice that my lights are super bright because I purchased myself some studio lights for my little Christmas present to myself. So I have the perfect brightness because it's super gloomy outside and I hated filming when I had like no light. So these are brand new lights. So hopefully everything looks okay on camera. So I was actually coming on camera today to tell you all I mean, I seen this a few days ago, but I didn't know if I wanted to actually like do a video on it or not, but I was like, no, I, I think I want to. So David Eason was like low key throwing shade towards Amber Portwood and I don't really know. She hasn't spoken out about it. She hasn't said anything. I don't even know if she knows that David Eason said something about her, but um, in a nutshell, he was on his Facebook page and he posted this post and I'll go ahead and read it off to you all. So he posted this post on his Facebook page and he said, you know, D-A-M-N, Christmas is barely over and I'm wondering who is going to kiss me for the new year. So as you can see, tons and tons of people actually reacted to the post. Some people um, thumbs it up. Some people hearted it. Is. Some people like did a laughing emoji. Now you can see there's tons and tons of comments um, on that actual post. So I was like looking at the comments and someone said, Amber Portwood, maybe, you know, she's looking for someone to kiss for this new year. Okay. Now David actually responds to that person. He goes, no, thank you, darling. Her knives are bigger than mine. Now I'm looking at this post and I'm looking at these comments and these comments are pretty crazy. They get pretty wild. You know, that's why I kind of like black out people's names and stuff like that, because I don't want you guys to, you know, go throw hate to people or whatever the case may be. But I thought this was super like in like insensitive. As we all know, Amber Portwood is just getting on her own two feet. She, you know, was involved in this entire scandal with Andrew Glennon and they have a little baby together. And, and allegedly she, you know, was being really, really crazy and allegedly assaulted him and everything like that. So I don't know why even why David would even say such a thing, knowing that Amber is literally just getting over this situation. I mean, mind, mind you, she's still getting tons and tons of heat for it. Like, oh my gosh, I can't believe Am Amber did that. You know, she doesn't deserve her her life. She doesn't, not her life, but she doesn't deserve like her lifestyle, like to be on Team Mom, like, you know, stuff like that. And I don't know, he literally would just said blatantly, her knives are bigger than mine, like trying to be so funny. And I'm like, oh my gosh, like, has she even seen this? Like, this is entirely crazy. And I feel like David Eason, he has a sense of humor. Like if you go watch like all the older seasons, um, when David and Janelle were like on Teen Mom, he has a huge sense of humor. Like he likes to make people laugh and stuff like that. So I will give him that. But I think this joke was kind of wrong, David. Like, come on now, now. Say if Amber went on social media and went on an entire rant about what you said, then there will be an entire battle going back and forth about what you said and what she said and it's just unnecessary drama like that's how you start drama you literally start drama by like saying stuff that you don't that you know you're not supposed to say and you start drama by like inserting yourself in situations where you don't belong like David that entire Amber and Andrew Glennon situation had nothing to do with you so why in the world are you even saying such a thing like are you trying to start drama are you just feeling like irrelevant maybe and you just need to say something to make people like look at you and then number two no one wants to kiss you David you had a wife that wanted to kiss you and apparently you screwed that up or you both screwed it up I'm not gonna put it all on you so no one wants to kiss you David maybe these little groupie women want to kiss you but no one else wants to kiss you David like come on now that's the news everyone I thought that was super weird how he's just come like coming on to his Facebook page and they're like hey maybe you should kiss Amber she's looking to kiss someone and he's like no her knives are bigger than mine like come on now like that is like yes it gives you a bit of a chuckle but then it's it's wrong let's not go there because that Amber situation was so messy to the point where I had to take a step back like I wasn't commentating on it I wasn't doing tons of videos on it I wasn't doing any of that because the truth was definitely um 
compromised and I don't want to speak on something and it compromises my integrity. So you all know I love to keep it real with you all. So that was a crazy situation. What do you think about David Easton? I feel like I feel like him and Fair Abraham literally deserve each other because they're always saying stuff that has nothing to do with them. And they know that when they say these things, people are going to pay them attention. Like Fair literally just out of nowhere was just like, I blocked Janelle on social media. And I'm just like, well, why? And then her reasoning is like, well, because I didn't want her to come to me for relationship advice. What? Like you are the last person on this earth to give relationship advice. Like Farrah, all of your relationships have been not too good. So that was messed up. But I feel like she did that just for attention. And David is always wanting attention. So this is crazy. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. I'm Yasmi Woodland. If you're new here, let me know in my comment section so I can give you a big warm welcome to my channel. I love all newcomers and I see my subscriber numbers going up like every day. And I'm just like, well, let me know that you're new here so I can say welcome and thank you and give you a virtual hug. Thank you all so much. I'm Yasmi Woodland. And I'm Till next time, see ya.